happy Wednesday. Don't I sound terrific? Now, if I'm not going to get on your nerves, I hope you stick around because I need something to do. I've been laying in bed for a day and a half and I need something to do. And so I'm calling in the patty whackers and anybody who knew who might be hanging out with us. I got something wrong with my knee. We don't need to talk about it, but I can't walk. I can't do anything. And you're boring, right? Um, but even though it's really hard, I still have my water. Now, for anybody here, hold on, because this is going to take me about 20 minutes to get adjusted because ah, of my knee. My right knee's painful, but that's okay. I don't want to talk about it. It's okay. Anybody who has had knee problems or replacements or anything knows how hard it is to get up and down from the dang toilet when your knee hurts, or right? And then you forget until your knee hurts and you got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> But that is not stopping me from drinking my 20 gallons of water a day because since I can't get out and walk, I have to do what I can do, and that's drink my water. Now, the bad news is the toilet off my bedroom is from uh, 1925 and sits as low to the ground as possible. But the good news is the toilet in Oliver's bathroom is new, and I picked it out, and it sits high and mighty. But the bad news is, getting from my bed to that bathroom, well, it's not so easy. But the good news is, if I try hard enough, I will make it, and it's worth it than the pain I get from this little toilet. I need to get a booster seat for my toilet. <laughs> so anyway, I like I said, I, this is strictly the only reason I'm doing this video is because I need something to do, somebody to talk to. I've been doing a lot of sleeping. Uh, when Steve was home because I was in a lot of pain last night, but it's okay. I don't want to talk about that It's I'm just telling you why I haven't had any conversation I got on Instagram and talked to myself for a while today, but you know that gets old <laughs> So I have had some stuff sitting aside favorites that I've been wanting to share with you and what not better time than now Now let me explain to anybody who's not the original 35 patty whacker who may be new there's a lot of product that a lot of people are very familiar with, and I might share it. And you might go, why is she sharing that? That's been around for a million years. I've been using it for half a million years. That's not news to me. But it's news to some people. Like, I didn't know about a lot of these things till recently. Until I lost weight, I didn't have, you know, I didn't really wear makeup much. I wore a little bit. I didn't really take care of my skin. I didn't have hair issues. So... You know, not everybody knows about everything, so that's why I feel like sharing it. So I have some non-food items and some food items I want to share so that I can talk. Okay, so we're going to start off with non-food items. Do you have your water? Hmm? I also want to say that I'm surrounded, where I sit, I'm surrounded by patty whack gifts from everybody. And I look at them all and I love them all so much. So, okay. All right, first of all, I'm going to start off with my Garmin band. Now, I have just an old Garmin Vivo Fit or Vivo Fit. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's all I need. It's all I want. I get my steps. It syncs through my app to the Weight Watcher app. It gives me the time. It gives me my heart rate. And it, it uh, my sleep as well. It measures my sleep. That's all I need. I don't need an Apple Watch. I don't need any of those things. But one thing I love that somebody may not know about is the bands can get kind of boring and they're also kind of a pain in the gazoo, buzzoo, but um, you know, the bands that come with them don't have the clasp. You have to bring it around, push it through the little holes, bring little doohickey up there to hold it onto. Well, and they're not always so pretty. I went on Amazon, actually I did this a couple years ago, but I thought it was worth mentioning because I get a lot of comments on it. If you go on Amazon for any activity bracelet that you have, it doesn't have to just be the Garmin, and you put in the search bar wristbands for my Fitbit 25, and if you refine the search, like for instance in my latest one, or my last ones, I like to have the buckle, the clasp, 
it just makes more sense. And for dexterity issues, it's just a lot easier. And I have so many pretty ones. I guess I could have brought them over and shown them with you, but I'm not moving around a lot for obvious reasons. But I have some super pretty ones. And um, so, if and they're cheap, 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 cheap. They come from China. I got five my last round. I got five for eleven dollars, I think. So check those out. Who has an iPhone eight and walks and runs out of energy, but still wants to listen to their YouTubers or their music or their podcasts? Me. Well, I didn't know it until my friend Kelly over at Freedom in a Budget, who you need to go visit. If you haven't seen her yet, please go see Kelly at Freedom in a Budget. She's so smart about so many things. She's so pretty, too. She said, Anita, derp de der and she ordered this for me from Amazon and had it sent. And what it is, is it plugs into your phone, and then it has the outlet for your charger and for your earbuds, so you can use both at the same time. I mean, you know what, people? Sometimes being old, and I say that with love, don't get angry with me when I say I'm old, I say it with pride. I didn't think I'd make it this long. Uh, and not in the total no of everything that's going on in the tech world. I was so grateful to get this. It's wonderful. So if you need one, check them out on Amazon, check your Apple Store. They're out there to be had. Now, We've talked a little bit about our thinning hair. So many of us have had the gosh darn thinning hair. And I have two things I want to talk about. For any of the original 35, they may look familiar, but I'm going to share them again from time to time. First of all, this stuff is called a Calista. Let's see. And I got it. There we go. That's a little bit better. I got it off of QVC, yes. And anybody who, I know a lot of you guys watch QVC and you've seen it. If my late, I will in a future video show you how I use it. I just can't stand to do it right now. Not, I can't stand it. No, I literally can't stand. <laughs> what I do is I get this. You put it in your hands. It's really kind of strange. I'm not going to try to explain it. You can always look it up on QVC. If you take this name, they always have little videos of what the product does and what it's for. And then what I do is I put it at the ends of my hair. You know, I've had a lot of you guys say, Nina, we love when you wear your hair in a top knot. The only way I can do that, guys, is to use this because I have very thin, little to no hair. So what this does, it gives you a bunch of volume in the ends of your hair. You put your hair up and then you can do whatever you want with it. And that's the only way I can use it. I will do a video one day for you guys when my legs better, I promise. But it works wonders. It's kind of a funky texture and feeling but it's worth it to me because I hate I used to have really thick coarse hair my whole life until I lost weight and then it just that's you know you can't have it all right the other thing I love and this is super inexpensive and I just happened to pick it up actually Cindy picked it up off the shelf one day it's L'Oreal look good boost it volume inject mousse now I had never heard about it. I just took a chance. When I get out of the shower, I towel dry my hair. I squirt this mousse into my hair, get it all in there, brush it through. I dry my hair upside down or with a brush. I don't put too much time into drying my hair because holding the hair dryer sometimes is a little hard on my hand. But it just makes you look like you have more hair than you do. And for the price, why the heck not? Oh, I just noticed I have a $2 off coupon and I'm almost out. Score! Thanks. See, if I wouldn't didn't do this video, I never would have noticed. Thanks, Patty Whackers. Okay, this. We all know, everybody who knows, who hangs out with me knows how much I hate my neck. I'm not even going to look at it right now. I'm just going to go like this because I hate it so much. Love yourself. I do. I love myself. But sometimes there's just parts of our bodies that we just don't love or like. And that's okay. I mean, you know, I'm not going to jump in a ditch because I hate my neck. But I don't like it. So we got to do what we can, right? And there are a million neck creams out there. The twins have spoken of one that has to be really good because they look really good. I always look at their necks. And they are quite a bit larger than I ever was. And their necks look wonderful. And they have not had surgery. But I can't afford that one right now. I think it's called Strivictin. Somebody mentioned this. It's just plain old gold bond neck and chest. And it was uh, nine bucks, something like that. And while nothing will ever fix this monstrosity, 
it helps a lot, lots and lots and lots, so much that somebody wants me to do a commercial for them. No, <laughs> but it does help, and it's at the price. It can't hurt to pick some up and have it on. Just put it on after your shower. I talked about makeup and not really wearing much before I lost my weight, and when I put on some, um, what's it called? Mascara, but uh, waterproof mascara by accident once. Oh my God, I had a hell of a time getting it off, and I have to use the word hell because I couldn't get it off. Finally, I text one of my little gals I worked with who wears makeup and is in the know. She's like, you need to get some purity, Anita. That stuff not only does it get your face clean. I love philosophy to start with. She says, you can use this and open your eyes and it won't even bother you. And it doesn't. This stuff is like miracle working stuff. You just put a dash of warm water in your fingertips. Put this in your fingertips. Get in there. Move it all around. All your makeup. And it removes it like, like magic. And it's good for your skin. I know there's lots of wipes. I also have, you know, Neutrogena wipes and different things that I use. But if you really need to get something off and you don't want to rip your eyelashes out, it's such good stuff. I've posted about this before, my rose water facial water from Trader Joe's. Well, actually I did this backwards. Let's go back. So yeah, it's really good. <laughs> um, do you guys remember uh, for the original 35 when I bought the number seven day and night cream at Target? For anybody who's new here, welcome. Um, I purchased this number seven day and night cream. Now I'm I, again. I am not a beard. I, I am not even close to being a beauty anything. I mean, I used Dove and Ivory soap my whole life, and maybe slopped on whatever was in the house. So I thought I'd try them out because I had a coupon, and I love them. I love them. All I can really tell you is that since I've started using them, I haven't had any breakouts of any kind. My face has remained clear and nice and soft, and that's all the detail I can really give you is that I like the results. And they're price-wise, they're like in between they're in between drugstore and Macy's. Because I got them at Target, so they're one of those in-between brands. I really enjoy them. What made me also buy these is I had gotten a sample for the number seven airbrush away which is just tinted moisturizer and I love love this it feels so good so then I thought I would try something else of their product and I really like it now this is what I was going to tell you for anybody who is like oh my gosh Anita there's just so many products out there I don't know what to buy and it's not that important to me but I want my skin to stay healthy but I should have something and I don't know what this is tell you what you're gonna do Next time you're in a department store, and you know what, I very rarely go to department stores. If I'm at the mall already, I'll swing in for this purpose only. I go to the Lancome counter. This is how old this is. You can't even see the, the writing. And I go in and I look and I talk to the lady and I tell her, you know, you have so much product, I don't know what to choose from, which is the truth. And she gave me samples. And I have all sorts of these little samples and I use them all the time. Some of them are for under eye and different things. And uh, they last for a really good long time. And, you know, if you don't have any money right now to, to get something for your skin or you do want to try to do different things out, don't forget that you can go in there and get your samples. I don't know about the makeup stores like Ulta and Sephora because I don't um, go there, but maybe a couple times. So I don't know. My last thing is my rose water facial toner from Trader Joe's. After I put my lotion on, or after I take a shower, before I put my lotion on, I just spray this. It just smells good and feels good. And it's just one of those, you know, I love rose. I love rose everything. I love the way roses look. I love the way roses smell. I love the way roses look in vases on my dresser. <laughs> and it's just uh, hydrate, refresh. And I know that Unique had something similar to this for a long time. Oh, look, I want to show you guys something. I forgot these were over here. I forgot. I forgot. More samples from Lancome. This one's not a sample. Uh, this one I don't think is a sample. But uh, yeah, go in and ask for your samples. 
And as far as anything non-food wise, let me take one last look around. That's all I have for now. But I do have a couple food things. It's already at 15 minutes. You know what? I'm going to save my food things for next time. I needed something to do today. Thanks, you guys, for giving me something to do. I, I just love y'all so much. It's like, all right, instead of laying in bed all day, which I am going to have to go back and lay down because I just need to. Thank you so much, you guys. Drink your water. If I can drink my water and make it in the bathroom and lower myself down there and go 25 times a day, you can too. Okay, I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, and make sure you take a look at the scale review. It's a great scale. Oh my gosh, I keep playing with it. And I don't make anything off of that. So when I tell you this, it's not like, oh yeah, Anita, rubbing your pennies together, huh, lady? Nope. It's just a product I believe in and I really like it. See you later.